Hello YouTube family, let's provide a solution given this nice exponential equation which is 8 to the power x multiplied by 8 to the power x, this is equal to 36. Now as you can see, the exponential equation is in the form of a to the power n multiplied by a to the power m, which you can express as a raised to the power n plus m, okay? So applying this property, applying this property, you will have 8 raised to the power x plus x, this is equal to 36. Now, this is 8 raised to the power 2x, which is equal to 36. Now, uh, to solve for the value of x, we introduce the natural logarithm on both sides, so that we will have log 8 to the power 2x, this is equal to log 36. Okay, now log 8 to the power 2x, this is in the form of log m to the power n, which you can express as n log m. Okay, now this is the power root property of logarithm. Let's apply this log 8 to the power 2x becomes 2x log 8. This is equal to log 36. Now we divide both signs by log 8. And also here by log 8, so that we'll have 2x, this is equal to log 36, divide this by log 8. Now, we can express 36 as, this is the same thing as 12 times 3. Okay, so of which we can express 12 as 2 to the power 2 multiplying by 3 multiplying by 3. Now this is 36. You say 2 squared, this is 4 times 3, which is 12 times 3. Now let's apply this property. We are saying that we have 2x is equal to root that 6 divided by root 8 whereby we can express that the 6 as that is 12 multiplied by 3, which we can express as 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3, which is the same thing as 3 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 2. Now substituting this, we'll have 2x, this is equal to log, 2 to the power 2 multiplying by 3 to the power 2. Divide this by log 2 to the power 3. You can express 8 as 2 to the power 3. Now, substituting this, we find that log 2 to the power 2 multiplying by 3 to the power 2. This is in the form of log A multiplying by B, which you can express as log A plus log B. Applying this property, we'll have 2x is equal to log 2 to the power 2 divided by log 2 to the power 3 plus log 3 to the power 2 divided by log 2 to the power 3. Now, this one is 2x is equal to, now we have log 2 to the power 2 which you can express as 2, log 2, divided by log 2 to the power 3, can be expressed as 3, log 2, plus log 3 to the power 2, can be expressed as 2, log 3, okay, divided by 3, log 2. So that means that we have 2x is equal to, if you simplify here, we'll have 2 over 3, plus now have 2 over 3 this is rog 3 divided by rog 2 okay so let's proceed as follows now we have that 2x is equal to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 rog that is rog 3 divided by rog 2 now rog 3 divided by rog 2 this is in the form of rog a divided by rog b which you can express as rog a to base b. 
Now that means that we'll have two x. This is equal to two over three plus this is two over three. Okay, rock three to base two. Now let's divide both signs by two. So we divide both signs by two. Okay, divide this by two. So that we'll have x. This is equal to two divided by uh, that is six plus two divided by uh, six drop three to base two. Now this one you can simplify this further. Okay, so that x is equal to. 1 plus row 3 to base 2 divide all this by 3 now this is the value of x so let's check if this value of x actually satisfies the equation okay now if you recall we end that Now we have that the value of x which is 1 plus rho 3 to base 2 divided by 3 actually satisfies the equation. Let's check this. So we end at 8 to power x multiplied by 8 to power x. This should give us a value of 36. Okay. So let's substitute this. 8 to power x multiplied by 8 to power x. This is the same thing as 8 to power 2x which is equal to 36. Let's substitute the value of x, okay? Let's substitute the value of x so that we'll have 8 to the power 2 multiplied by x, which is 1 plus rog 3 to base 2. Divide this by 3. This should give us a value of 36. Okay? Now from this, we find that we can be able to express 8 as 2 to power 3. So this is the same thing as 2 to power 3, okay? Multiplying by, now we have 2 into the parentheses. This is 1 plus rho 3 to base 2. Divide this by 3. This should give us a value of 36. Now this 3 and 3 simplifies so that we'll have 2 to power 2 times 1 which is equal to 2 plus 2 times rock so we'll have 2 rock 3 to base 2 this should give us a value of 36 okay now as you can see 2 to power 2 plus 2 rock 3 to base 2 this is in the form of a is to power n plus m which we can express as a to power n Okay, multiplying by a to power m. Now applying this property, indices, this indices property, we'll have 2 to power 2 multiplying by 2 to power. Now 2 rog 3 to base 2, this is the same thing as 2 raised to power rog 3 to power 2 to base 2. This should give us a value of 36. Okay, let's proceed. So as you can see, we have 2 to power 2, 2 to power 2, this is the same thing as 4, and then multiplying by 2 to power of 3 to power 2 to base 2, which is 2 raised to power of 3 squared to base 2, this should give us a value of that 6, but 2 raised to power of 3 squared to base 2, this is in this form, that is m raised to power of a to base m, which is equal to a. So that means that 2 to power rock 3 squared to base 2 this should give us a value of 3 squared okay so that means that we have 4 multiplied by 3 squared which is actually 9 this should give us a value of 36 and you find that 4 times 9 this is 36 and this should be equal to 36 so that means that the left hand side 
is equal to the right hand side okay and that affirms that the value of x okay that affirms that the value of x which is equal to 